Hello, Max here. I'm just going to do a quick tutorial on how I make up my fruit fly cultures. There's a few bits you'll need to start with. Some sort of culture media. I use Rapashi Superfly. It's very easy to use and mixes well and doesn't smell that much after you've had a culture running for a while, so that's why I use that. Um, some 32 ounce deli cups like this and vented lids for those cups usually buy them with them so that's fine uh, the other stuff um, shredded wood which I've got just under here I think it's called Excelsior as well online um, but they're sort of the basics so let's get started so what I normally do is spoon in about about four heaped teaspoons of the superfly media Then you want to add some hot water, some boiling water, which I've got ready just here. So they give you a specific amount on the pot from Rapashi. I don't like just chucking that amount straight in and hoping for the best. I like to add a little bit at a time and get it to the consistency that I want. So I'll start that process. Try and uh, dig all the dry bits that uh, get stuck at the bottom of the cups. Get that mixed into everything. Add a little bit more because it's still a little bit dry. Basically the consistency I'm after is one that makes it easy to tap the media down so that it's sort of a flat layer at the bottom of the cup. If it's too dry it won't tend to do that. Um, needs a little bit more even it looks like it's getting close now the test basically is to just start tapping the cup and if it all starts to shift down into one nice lump then you've got it. I think we've got it. So yeah, as you can see, it's all sort of squished down into a flat layer of about three, four centimeters deep. Once that's done, you want to grab a good handful of the shredded wood, ball it up so that you've got not too many bits sticking out because it makes it annoying to put the lid on later and then just shove that in there mm, I'll probably do I'll put a little bit more in Cool, there we go. That's the first part. Now what we need to do, because this media at the bottom is going to be very hot, and if we put our flies in straight away it will basically just kill them, we need to leave this to cool somewhere. So I mean, you can do that in the fridge, but I found it condensates up quite a bit, so I tend to just leave them on the side to cool. And it takes a few hours, but it's worth it. Okay, so our cultures have cooled. We're ready to add some flies now. I've got two cultures here to add to. Uh, so firstly, what I do is I grab a deli cup and one of my old cultures, which has got quite a few flies going in it. They've, they've all fallen down at the moment. What I do to reduce the risk of mites being transferred over into the new cultures is I grab my Rapashi Calcium Plus, which I use to dust my fruit flies to feed my dart frogs. So what we'll do is we'll tap a bit of that into the deli cup. Don't need too much. And then we want to add some flies to this. So I take my culture and I want to tap it on the edge of the lid like this to knock all the flies into one corner, which works quite well. Then a little bit of a fiddly bit, you want to ease open that edge that you tap them down to 
and then allow them to fall into the cup. So I'll just do that. Give them a bit of a shake as well. And give it a bit of a tap also. That'll probably do. And then shut your culture back up so they don't go everywhere. And then you want to give the flies a bit of a swill in the uh, dusting powder. So you'll be able to see them now, they're all coated in dust. So hopefully that has helped knock off a few knock off a few of the mites. We'll give them a bit of a better shake round, a bit of a spin, make them dizzy. And then I've seen people literally just dust their flies and then drop them in. But if you've dusted them and that's knocked off the mites, if you then just tip that in, you're surely going to just tip in mites. So what I tend to do is I get another deli cup and a sieve. And I'll put the sieve over the top of the deli cup. And what we do is we just tip our flies into the sieve. They will start to climb out now because they can get a footing. If I just give them a bit of a shake, try and knock off any mites that could be on there. And then tip them back into the deli cup afterwards. And at this point, while they're dusted, they find it really tricky to walk up the edges of the cup. So you're fairly secure with them. You're, they're not going to really escape. So then, let's grab our two cultures. I'll put them like this, actually, make it easier. Line up my lids. And then we want to probably, I want to put about half in each, obviously. And give them a little shake. And just get them down to the edge of the cup. I'll just move that forward. So I'll put that in there. Tap them down a bit. And then chuck our lid on. That's one. And then take number two. And we want to do the same process again. So tip these guys in. I think that's all of them. Give them a tap down. And then get our lid on this one as well. Let's make sure that's tightly closed down. All right, so there's our two cultures made up. Um, I'll probably discard the excess dust that's in the cup just in case there's mites in it and give this a bit of a wash out. But we now have two cultures made up with some fruit flies in them, ready to breed. There we go, we shouldn't have to wait too long before they start laying eggs and producing maggots. It's usually about, what, about a week to two weeks before they start producing really well. Um, so I tend to produce a new culture usually every couple of weeks. So the fruit flies I've got in this culture are Melanogasters. Um, they're the smaller variety, uh, more suitable to the frogs I have. Um, these cultures will last about a month. And I'll usually write the date on the side of the cup for when I made them. And about two weeks down the line, I'll make a new set of cultures. So you've always got that crossover of cultures so you never run out of flies. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.